What is titanium? Hello, engineering lovers. I'm Igor Felipe, and today we'll discuss one of the strongest metals. Titanium. Titanium is a chemical element with the symbol Ti and atomic number 22. It is a transition metal known for its resistance to corrosion, high strength to weight ratio, and ability to form alloys with other metals. One of the main properties of titanium is its strength to weight ratio, which is much higher compared to other metals like steel and aluminum. This means that titanium is lighter than steel, but still very strong. This property makes titanium an ideal material for aerospace applications, such as in airplanes, where weight is a critical factor. Another important property of titanium is its resistance to corrosion. Titanium is resistant to a wide variety of chemicals, including acids and bases, and it is highly resistant to corrosion in marine environments. This property makes it a valuable material for applications in ships and oil platforms, as well as in chemical and industrial equipment. Titanium is also known for its biocompatibility with the human body. This means the human body doesn't reject titanium when it is used in medical implants, such as prosthetics and dental plates. This property makes it a valuable material for medicine and dentistry. Although titanium has several unique properties, it also has some disadvantages compared to other metals. For example, Titanium is harder to work with than other metals, which can make manufacturing titanium parts more expensive and time-consuming. It is also less conductive than metals like copper and aluminum, which limits its use in some applications. But when was titanium discovered? Titanium was discovered in 1791 by the British chemist William Greger, and it was named after the Titans, who were the giants of Greek mythology. Due to its strength and resistance, titanium is found in the Earth's crust and is the ninth most abundant element on Earth. It is often found in minerals such as ilmenite and rutile, and is mainly extracted in countries like Australia, Canada, South Africa, and China. The extraction of titanium is a complex process that involves several stages. There are two main methods for extracting titanium, the Kroll process and the direct reduction process. The Kroll process is the most common method for extracting titanium. It starts with the extraction of titanium dioxide from minerals like ilmenite and rutile, which are then purified through chemical processes to produce titanium tetrachloride. It is then reduced with magnesium in a vacuum reactor at high temperature, producing metallic titanium, the titanium is then melted and refined to remove impurities. The direct reduction process, on the other hand, is an alternative method for extracting titanium, which involves reducing titanium dioxide in a reactor with hydrogen gas. At high temperatures, this produces metallic titanium directly without the need to produce titanium tetrachloride. First, this method is less common, but it can be more efficient than the Kroll process. Regardless of the extraction method used, titanium production is an energy-intensive process and has a high cost. However, due to its unique properties, titanium is a valuable material in several industries, which makes its extraction an economically viable activity. Titanium has several interesting properties that make it useful in various applications, and it is used in a wide range of device industries. Titanium can be purchased in several forms on the market, including sheets, tubes, bars, and wires. It is also often used in alloys with other metals, such as aluminum, vanadium, and iron, to further improve its properties. The production of titanium products can be expensive due to its high melting point and the need for specialized manufacturing techniques. There are, there are many titanium alloys that are used in different applications, each with its own specific properties and characteristics. The main titanium alloy is the titanium aluminum vanadium alloy, also known as titanium 64TC4 or American Society for Testing and Materials Grade 5. It is composed of 6% aluminum and 4% vanadium, and it is known for its high mechanical strength, corrosion resistance, and biocompatibility. 
It is often used in aerospace applications, such as aircraft turbines, as well as in medical implants and sports equipment. We also have the alloy of titanium, aluminum, tin, zirconium, and molybdenum, also known as titanium 6242. This alloy is composed of 6% aluminum, 2% tin, 4% zirconium, and 2% molybdenum. It is known for its high resistance to fatigue and corrosion, as well as its weldability. It is also frequently used in aerospace applications, such as aircraft wings and medical equipment. We also have a variation of the titanium, aluminum, and vanadium alloy, also known as grade 9 titanium. Unlike the first one, this alloy is composed of 3% aluminum and 2.5% vanadium. It is also known for its high resistance to fatigue and corrosion, as well as its ease of welding. It is often used in aircraft engine components, as well as in medical and sports equipment. Also, the titanium molybdenum alloy is an alloy composed of 15% molybdenum. It is known for its high corrosion resistance and for being biocompatible. It is often used in medical applications such as knee and hip prostheses. And we also have the titanium, aluminum, zirconium, and niobium alloy known as titanium 5553. This alloy is composed of 5.5% aluminum, 5% zirconium, and 3% niobium. It is known for its high resistance to corrosion and fatigue, as well as being fire resistant. It is often used in aircraft engine components and even in military equipment. These are just some of the main titanium alloys available, and each of these alloys has its own characteristics. And they are used in different applications, depending on the properties required for each application. And did you know about these properties of titanium and its applications? Do you own any titanium devices or parts at home or on you? Share in the comments, I'm curious. I'll leave two videos here on the side that you might like as well and that are definitely worth checking out. If you enjoyed the video, leave your like, subscribe to the channel and share the video on your social media. That's it, engineering lovers, a big hug and I'll see you in the next video.